<sighs> Last night I could not sleep because I was trying to attack this problem and it is I I was like I wanna get on my phone so bad and it was basically deprival deprival symptoms. Um like kind of yeah. Other people can explain that, but um yeah, it was horrible. <sighs> but he was there for me, you know, and it's difficult to find someone who will just even just be there for someone. And we've traded, I've traded in like crap, pretty much. Oh gosh, I wish, I wish I didn't trade him like that. I'm trying to stop. Um, but anyway, um. gonna talk about something else but um maybe I should do it this way um so diamonds are um pressurized carbon and <sighs> something that is uh this guy from the rock museum he was talking about the um, diamond being formed by high intensity pressure and heat from like volcanoes and stuff um, it buried very deep underground and um, he was talking specifically about the angle and I wish I could remember exactly what he said. But, um, a diamond, what we do is we find it, like, under the rocks. And the ones I've seen people looking for diamonds are, uh, nearby streams and stuff. But, um, they're, you know, the Oregon Trail, Gold Rush, uh, people looking for little tiny specks of gold and dust and coming up with like two cents worth or something like that it's something ridiculous like no it's not it don't chase after vain gold and stupid things um but um it's it's about we're supposed to find things because we're supposed to learn about them. It's not it's not about the physical object. It's about the meaning of the the object, even if it's just food. Does that does that make sense? Um okay, so diamonds are that and then they are um cut by us. I I cut the diamond. Like, I don't do that, but that's what I would do if I did do, if I didn't take her diamonds, I cut the diamond. Uh, and from what I've seen in articles is that, uh, the value of a diamond is based off of, uh, how many cuts are in the diamond. Um, you can tell it's real by, um, the, uh, so if you shine a laser on it, it heats up, as far as I know, um, yeah, you shine a laser on it, it heats up, um, And then, um, 
if it reflects light in a certain way because prisms are uh, di made out of diamond material. They're a different shape though. Um, but they emit a rainbow because it reverses the um, light rays. Um, from what I understand, it makes them go at a different angle. It divides them. It separates the colors so that you can see the actual color. Otherwise, it's just white. It's completely, you know, you know what white things are in nature. They're poisons, odorless, tasteless. Uh, yeah. I don't mess with that stuff. Uh, also, I think, like, lead is, like, a white thing when it's dry. Um, anyway. It's cut by us. And the carbon, after it's pressurized, then I cut it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've already been through years of pain and torture and agony and then I'm gonna just gonna be taken out of my home into this almost animal's hand and uh, he he takes off all the stuff about it that doesn't make sense, that shouldn't be there, that it's rough, it's not pretty, it's part of the earth. I It, it can't have that on it anymore. Um, the, the person who takes care of the diamond, they, they take that off. They cut it off. Uh, it's kind of an odd comparison, but it's um, like circumcision. <laughs> it's cutting something off. And uh, yeah. So you have a diamond. You have a diamond. And, um, the usefulness of a diamond is reflecting light at, it, in certain ways, it, it, it can, it reacts to heat in specific ways, and uh, it's, it's a memory. If I don't know the word of something, I don't know what it is. It's not that I'm stupid, it's that I don't know what that is. Because nobody told me and I need help so if somebody else does not help me I have to help myself and that's painful but also sometimes necessary that doesn't mean do it to somebody else on purpose <sighs> there are certain circumstances where it is fitting but still You know, a brother is born for adversity. That doesn't mean he can get away with it. That's okay.
in the Bible, it will say things that if I don't have another verse to cover it, then everything goes haywire. <sighs> I think that's why um, in Revelation God says, don't take a single word away from this book or from this prophecy, either one it is. Um, I would definitely look at that. It's in Revelation towards the end. And don't add anything to this book because anything I add is horrible. Okay, here's why it's horrible. Um, when I have a crush on someone and it doesn't work out, any relationship, like, just crush or, um, a full-on relationship. Um, certain words that I say to them. Okay, I say words to them for them. It's from my life experience. And it's for them. Okay. And, uh, like, I... I, I really need that to be valued. But um, sometimes it's not, you know. Um, but certain things about you and your character. Um, I, I guess I'm talking to my fiancé now because... He does watch my videos. <laughs> okay. Um, certain words that you say. No, I'm getting over. Okay. Um, are like. Um, if if we start talk, having a conversation about. Um, walls being painted tan. I want to remember the word tan. And now that's like my special word because it's something that you valued. And um, if it's if it's like you like he likes to be a bit about having the fan on all night and I have travailed him for this it's um I don't like wind in my face a lot because I've had to sleep outside well I didn't have to but I wanted to I slept outside in a, just a uh sleeping bag and I didn't have it uh, covering um, or me on the sleeping bag. And uh, it was summertime and it was out in the countryside. And this is Iowa. It's not as bad as other places. It's pretty tame compared to other places is what I've heard. <laughs> but um, we have mosquitoes and gnats. And, uh, caterpillars. I mean, caterpillars aren't really that big of a problem. Ladybugs kind of stay out of the way. Um, they don't really like humans that much. Um, but they're there for a reason. <laughs> um... The mosquitoes, 
will try to go directly for my eyes, for my forehead, for my cheeks, depending on what that female mosquito needs. Uh, unfortunately, I have to report I have smashed many mosquitoes. And, uh, yeah, that's, um, I don't really have a good way to repel them. Because, okay, mosquito repellent works to a certain extent, but sometimes I don't have that, so I try to go without it sometimes on purpose to test myself. Because, uh, the, like, uh, calluses, um, yeah. Anyway, I was, I was, like, out in the yard looking at the stars, um, all night, and I was sleeping that, but the, the worst part of it was the wind in my face, and it was, uh, it was very, uh, yeah, not, not something I liked. Uh, maybe that's why I have a problem with my face, honestly. Honestly, yeah, that is. Because I don't, I constantly had to get the bugs out of my face. And if I left the bugs on my face, um, then I would have been eaten alive. And um, things about malaria and mosquitoes. And stuff. Eventually, I just had to say, okay, no, I don't care anymore about the fact that mosquitoes carry malaria I'm just needing to stick it out stay here I don't care anymore like just this is what I'm doing uh yeah <sighs> like yes the the pain can be warning but it's also not the end but yeah um it's just um songwriting from my experience stems from knowing a word that somebody has um held dear to them and then understanding why is the process of understanding why okay that's a beautiful day today I want to take a walk I'm so glad I could take a walk oh. otherwise I could just take a little bit But the fan is nice because it puts some airflow in the house, and I don't even have to open the window. I don't have to even have to go outside. But mm. I wish I could see some lines real bad. Anyway, take care.